Some longtime landowners are being threatened with imminent domain. Offers to buy an easement will soon become demands if the Holotus property owners don't budge. They turned to the troubleshooters when a company they'd never heard of wanted to survey their property. As News 4 San Antonio's April Molina reports, even the mayor got involved, upset about the way the water company was doing business. They were walking right up through here. Clyde Bennett has owned this property since June of 1975. He built the house with his own two hands. I'm the owner of this property. You have no business being here. In November of last year, Bennett recalls looking out the kitchen window, seeing two strangers walking up his fence line. He says he walked outside to approach them, pistol on his hip. And I told him to get off of this property right now. You're trespassing. That's the way trespassers get shot. That conversation ended pretty quickly, but Bennett has since learned the surveyors were working on behalf of a water company that approached many of his neighbors wanting to buy the rights to a portion of their land as well. Turned out to be that they, uh, the price that was offered, it was ridiculous, so they don't want to not only take the land, they want to uh, cheat you out of it. Debbie and Arthur Martinez did allow the surveyors on their land, but were put off by what they considered a lowball offer. Where does it start? Where does it end? They, they're not telling us anything. So many questions left unanswered. Even the mayor of Holotus sent a demand letter to the water company questioning whether they have the authority to threaten eminent domain, also raising concerns about their questionable tactics. What boxes does a company have to check to be granted that power of eminent domain? So very little, and that's one of the challenges that we have on the property owner side when we fight these types of cases. Attorney Luke Ellis, who specializes in property disputes, the explained the state of Texas has always had inherent power to take from a private landowner to benefit the community. But what's happened over the course of many, many decades is that the government's given their power to condemn, this inherent power the government has to take private land, to a bunch of other entities. In many cases, those entities include nonprofit and private companies. In this case, Balcones Water Supply Corporation sent a statement to the troubleshooters explaining they're a nonprofit organization in the process of purchasing water from existing wells in the Trinity Formation near Holotus and transporting the water to end users outside of Saw's service area. As part of the project, Balcones will lay a water line. The company also cited Texas Water Code as giving them rights of condemnation. The deck stacked, in my opinion, very much in favor of the entities that take property. Ellis said most entities claiming to have the power to condemn do have that right. And as long as they can show the project is for public use, courts typically enforce that right. We've been saving it all these years, paying taxes on it, property taxes every year, so that eventually we have something to give to our children. Landowners can opt to take the matter to court to allow a jury to decide whether a company has eminent domain and what the fair market value of the land is. And it's important to note, property owners are selling the rights in these cases, which means they still own the land. They just don't control it. I'm News 4 troubleshooter April Molina. Thank you, April. To make matters worse for Debbie and other landowners in this position, she will have to continue to pay the property taxes, even if she's forced to sell the easement, because technically she would still be considered the property owner. And if you'd like to see the entire statement from Balcones Water Supply Corporation, you can check out news4sa.com troubleshooters.